Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Christina. Hi, I'm Sebastian. I'm James. And we are Family, family of the Year. <laughs> How did you get on the name Family of the Year? What's the story about? We named ourselves Family of the Year after a song Joe had written before we had formed as a band. And we really liked the, the, the sound of it and what it means because there is this award that is given to a family that looks perfect on the outside. And um, we like the idea of something appearing perfect on the outside, but on the inside being sort of not quite right. Maybe there's some darkness or some secrets or some bad things. And we kind of just thought it was kind of like a cool idea. Yeah. Okay, cool. Is that a decent answer on that? I can't answer the questions that I, like I'm supposed to. <laughs> like, you like, it's okay. Too much pressure. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, would you say as long as you believe in your dreams, everything is possible? Mm. I would say in your 20s, yeah, absolutely. Once you get, once you get, I mean, not that I would know, but I feel like as you get older, your dreams are less and less likely to happen, and then you die, and then it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> but it's definitely a good start. <laughs> no, of course anything's possible. Of course. Being yeah. on the side where the success and money is, um, is, there, is it easier than before? For you now? Nothing is easy about anything that we do, I don't think. Uh, I think that there are parts that are more fun and there are parts that are more difficult, but I'd say overall, uh, hold on, let me do that, let me start again. <laughs> you, someone else go, please. Um, I think it's definitely easier than it was in a sense that we can, we're more able to m make music, I don't know. <laughs> I'm try. Having, su having success for me creatively is, and it doesn't help at all. I, I'm like, I way prefer to be the underdog and to be unknown and to struggle. I work better when I'm, when I'm struggling. So if, I, if we ever find ourselves successful, I think that you, I think that at least personally, I get complacent. So I think like working with success and that kind of pressure is a totally different beast and way more difficult than working, um, you know, as the underdog with like, you know. Fire and passion? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, have, I have a hard time sort of defining what success is. And I definitely don't know if we are successful or not. It's a difficult concept. Uh, yeah, but yeah, well, I think like, su success doesn't mean that there's like some goal that you meet, you know, it's just kind of like being happy with your work and, you know, something that's easier because you're not starting at like square one with nothing, but as far as, you know, it's just an ongoing, you know, journey to be happy with what you do. Oh, that's, that's nice to put, James. What's that? What's that? That's good. No, I liked that. That's, that's, that's the whole thing. You were successful in that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's success. And I'm happy with <laughs> Great. So, uh, what what do you want to say with your album title, Goodbye Sunshine and Hello Nightmare? Uh, Nighttime, excuse me. <laughs> Honestly, we, we thought Goodbye Sunshine, Hello Nighttime sounded cool. That's probably why we decided on that. <laughs> and I think now, in retrospect, it kind of seems like people are like, oh, like maybe this is family or getting and just. I mean, we've kind of fell into this thing now, now it's, it means darkness, and that's. You know, it's about us going into the darkness, and that's fine. Like, heading into the unknown. Um, but it was just something that sounded cool. Just like everything you do, it was just, you know, kind of a small decision we made that now we talk about. I don't feel like I agree with that. You know, I feel like people have been asking us if it's about darkness. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Well, yeah, it's okay to disagree. Yeah. I don't get it. And here's the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> what, me? No. No, I'm sorry. I was just talking about it. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you regret in your career and would like to change? James, you look as if you have an answer. <laughs> I don't think re regret is fine, but there, there is a certain certain video. It was our first video <laughs> that we did and we just ha I, I just happened to run into a clip of it yesterday morning. 
you know, it's like, oh, I remember that day fondly, but I'm going to have to remember that day fondly for, for a long time. <laughs> Do you mean the diversity or the synchro video? Oh, Actually, the synchro video. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I thought, but, I thought you were talking about like, scope. Yeah. I like that video. Yeah. I, I love that. Oh, I just first. I was confused. Oh, right. Okay. Because then I started thinking of you swimming on the block, and then I was like, oh, that's what James is talking about. <laughs> well, man, okay, I guess there's a lot. <laughs> James, you have a lot of regrets. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not a regretful thing. It's just kind of just inter interesting to look back on, I think. Fine. So, um, if you had the opportunity to travel in time in a time machine, where did, would, would you go, and which year would you like to travel to? Hmm, that's a good question. Mm, yeah, really, it's a very good question. I think, Pardon? go ahead, please. California, 1875. <laughs> you guys like that? Yeah. Are you planning for gold? Yeah, it just sounds insane. It'd be cool. i just love to see like what it was like back then out there. I love it up there. I love the desert. I love the LA basin. I'd just love to go check it out. Wild, wild. The wild west, if you will. And the others? Go ahead. Um, I would like to go back to the 1950s. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but, so but, but like, like, ah. uh, if, if maybe like, um, like any one of the big American cities in the 1950s, like New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, just because it was, yeah, I mean, it was a very like, idealistic time in America, and like you know, everything was new and blah blah blah, and like everything was just really positive, but it really wasn't. But mm -hmm. it was the you know um, the birth of rock and roll, and it seemed like that was a kind of a starting point for the you know the, the massive growth of the 20th century from then. Go ahead, Christina. Um, I I don't have like one of your guys' cool answers. I think I would go back to like the early 2000s and kind of relive those like awesome years of experiencing like everything as a like adult kind of and hearing music and being really excited and like just going places for the first time and just actually feeling so hopeful and now I'm like realizing like it's therapy right now <laughs> like oh that was a really nice time and now I'm just hopeless <laughs> No, it was really... Oh, whatever. Yeah, go. <laughs> um, I think... Um, I would like to... Let me think for a sec. Um, I think L.A. in maybe, like, the 1920s would have been a really interesting time and place to be. Just as like the city was beginning to take roots, early movies, early movie stars, I don't know, I like the idea of the beginning of Hollywood. Fine. So, um, last question, um, vinyl or streaming? Vinyl or streaming? Yeah. Streaming. Vinyl? When I was younger, I remember being about 10 years old with my best friend and we were talking about, man, wouldn't it be crazy like someday we'll have a device in our hands that will have every song in the world on it. And this was, you know, definitely before the internet and stuff like that was like streaming things like and we just we couldn't even imagine the idea of Spotify or Apple Music or anything. Um, to think that it's a reality is just crazy to me. So I, I'm all about the streaming. Vinyl. I think I'd say vinyl too just because I miss being able to go through the limited amount of music that you have and right now it's just kind of everything. I feel like I listen less to music because I don't know what I want to listen to because it's just all there and it's overwhelming and I don't know how to even pick. I, I don't want to scroll through a million things. I want to like go through, you know, a hundred things. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you. Thank you.